And new tonight, a group of very brave Bristol police officers honored tonight after this terrifying shooting right inside of their police station. Channel 3's Eliza Krasinski joins us now live in the studio with more on this tonight. Hi, Stephanie. Well, these officers sprang into action the night a woman walked into the lobby, pulled out a gun and started firing. It was a situation that could have had a deadly outcome. Going down the line, Bristol Police Chief Brian Gould giving awards to the officers who have shown exceptional policing these past several months. One particularly brave group of officers was honored Tuesday night. On October 5th, bulletproof glass separated this woman, Suzanne LaPrize, and Bristol police officers. Police say LaPrize walked into the lobby of the Bristol Police Department with a gun. She was erratic, banging and shooting at multiple windows. Luckily, the bullets didn't make it through. Nobody expects anybody to walk into a workplace and start shooting, number one, right? Um, but in the police department, they're coming into the lobby and, and start shooting like that. But it wasn't just the glass that saved them. Thanks to the heroic Bristol officers on duty that night, the potentially deadly situation was de-escalated safely. Yeah, everyone good? Yep, I'm good. LaPrize was tased and arrested, charged with attempted murder. Police believe it was a suicide by cop attempt. Totally unexpected and um, very proud of the response of these officers. Chief Gould says the best case scenario is no one got hurt. To be able to go in and just think so calmly and so so cool and, and collective, um, to, to watch that response, it was coordinated and just professionally done. Tuesday's ceremony is the last time Chief Gould will be formally recognizing his officers as Bristol Police Chief ahead of his retirement in just a short couple weeks. It's been a, been a great career, and to be working with such great people, um, it's, it's, I've been blessed, and it's, uh, you know, made me a better person, so I'm very thankful to all of them. It was such a nice event. The Chief's last day is April 6th. Live in studio, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Eliza, thank you.